What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get out of a boot loop. So this is my iPhone 5S right here and right now it's, it's jailbroken but it's in a boot loop. So I downloaded that app from Cydia, night mode, and basically just sends my device into a boot loop. I did this already on my iPhone 5 a couple of days ago, on my iPhone 6S a couple of days ago and I had to do this method to get rid of it. I had to reboot my phone because this is a the jailbreak for 9.3.3 is a semi-untethered jailbreak so usually you could just boot into safe mode and then go into Cydia and then remove the app that you downloaded last and that will fix everything but because this is a semi-untethered every time your phone reboots you're gonna have to go to Cydia and you can't go into Cydia without um, rebooting your phone and it's not rebooting so right now it's in a boot loop you just keep rebooting it will pop up then it will reboot as you can see so what I what I like what I do to fix it basically I just hold on the home and power button until that happens and then it's gonna boot up and you could go to your home screen but CDI won't work none of the jailbreak tweaks all that stuff will, will stop okay so now it reboots and basically the whole rebooting stop okay so now we're on the main screen so we're gonna go to Cydia Cydia won't work I mean and if I use the PP app to reboot and get Cydia to start working so get everything it's gonna reboot right now and usually after you do that you would go back and then Cydia would open and then you could do whatever you want to do because that's how the untethered system works so we're gonna, it's going to reboot right now but guess what because it's in a boot loop it's not going to work there you go it crashed because the boot loop process is still there so how we're going to fix this? We're going to have to restore our phone and re jailbreak. Remember, this was caused by night mode. So it's going to reboot again. Just like that. Cuz it's in a boot loop. So we're going to hold the home and power button. It's going to crash. I want to release. It's going to boot to to the main page, but we won't be able to use Cydia. After it boots up, it's gonna take us to the to the main screen, but we won't be able to to use our device. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up iTunes. iTunes is already open in the background. Plug in our device because again, CDA isn't working. So we're gonna plug in our device. And you want to click on it. So this is my this is my iPhone 5s right here. Let it load up. Should be done. You want to create a backup after this is done. Okay, then you want to backup now. So let everything backup. Everything you have on there will say will be saved. Okay, guys. So now that it's done, um, backing up. We want to hit restore. We're going to hit restore iPhone right here. You're going to have to turn off your iPhone. Um, you find my iPhone. So you're going to have to go to settings. Go to iCloud. Scroll down. Make sure find my iPhone is turned off. We're going to hit off. Then you're going to put in your password for it to turn off. Turning off. Now it's off. And then we're going to hit restore iPhone. Click on restore iPhone, you're gonna hit restore. And it's extracting software. And you guys are just gonna let it restore. And this this way you're gonna get rid of your Cydia, get rid of whatever is happening. So if you wanna get rid of your jailbreak, this is the only way after your jailbreak to get rid of your jailbreak. So if something happens to your phone, you gotta bring it to the Apple Store, this is the way you do it. You gotta do a restore. Make sure to back up so you could then restore to that backup and get all your information back, all your apps and all that stuff. So this is the way to do it. I'm gonna come back when this is done. So now the restoration is done. So we want to hit, it's going to say update settings. We're going to hit cancel. But right over here, we're going to back up to the one that we just created. 
So we don't want to set up as new, we want to hit restore to this backup right here. So the one that we just created a couple minutes ago, we're going to hit continue. As you see right there, going to hit continue. And everything we had on our device, everything is going to go back onto the phone. So all the apps that you had, everything that was on there when you created that backup, and you can see restore in progress. So everything is going to come back on there. So when I come back when that's done, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Now the restoration is done, so our phone is going to reboot. And then we'll be on the home screen after a little setup. Go ahead, cancel that. So you want to set up your device. So after all that set up, now everything that was on our phone is basically going to be restored back on. You see all the apps that was there, only thing is not there is basically Cydia. So all the apps, all the music, everything you had on your phone will go back on to your phone using this method. Okay guys, so now that your whole restoration is done, all the apps is back. So that's how you get rid of your jailbreak and get all your information back, everything you needed. That's how you do it. So if you want to re-jailbreak your device, just in case you're a hardcore jailbreaker and that reboot, that whole boot loop thing, you want to re-jailbreak after that. This is, this is the easy way to do it. No computer needed. I could plug this out. So I have a link in the description that's going to take you to this app right here. So when you want to go there, you take it to here, then you want to hit install. Then you want to hit install again. Now you want to go to your to the home screen right there. And soon as the app says installing, you're going to swipe up and then you want to put it in um, airplane mode. Right now it just says loading. I'm trying to get this. It just says loading. But soon as it says installing underneath that app, we're going to swipe up and we're going to do like that. And there you go. The app finished installing just like that. Then we want to take off airplane mode. So that's how you do it guys. So as soon as it says installing, before it's going to say loading, soon as it starts saying installing, then you're going to um, swipe up, put it in airplane mode, and then it will finish install. So now we want to open the app. It won't open. We're going to have to go to settings, general, scroll down to device management, and there we go. I don't know what's going on with my with my phone with my camera today but okay so now the app is verified so you just want to tap on verify now you want to tap on that wait a little bit we should get that right there just like that It's gonna reboot. So this is the new way to do to get the jailbreak without the computer. And this is the year-long certificate. So there we go. So now we have Cydia right there on our device, right at the bottom right here. Cydia is loading. There we go. So that's how you do it, guys. So that's how you read jailbreak after the whole boot loop error. And if you don't want to jailbreak after that, that's how you get all your information back and get your device up and running. So there you go. It's Prince with ATP 101. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. And if you guys want to set up your phone like this, I have videos linked in the description to tweak it, to get themes, all that. Peace.